There are some big titles coming to your consoles. Medical stuff are using Microsoft headsets. Some Ryzen CPUs are getting an upgrade. Say what? Hello, welcome to MLM Monday Logins with Michelle. While some of us are excited about AMD's Zen 3 Ryzen 4000 desktop CPUs that are coming out later this year, it seems like AMD isn't quite done with Zen 2 yet. Recently, many reports have been pointing towards a potential light refresh of three desktop Zen 2 CPUs. The Ryzen 5 3600X, Ryzen 7 3800X, and the Ryzen 9 3900X. Up to now, these were just leaks and reports from sources within the industry. But now, CPU database website CPU Monkey has found alleged benchmarks of these refreshed CPUs, named the Ryzen 5 3600XT, Ryzen 7 3800XT, and Ryzen 9 3900XT. By the way, these names are not official and may not be the final names. All three of the alleged new CPUs have shown around 200 to 300 megahertz clock speed increase across the board. But CPU Monkey did mention that these benchmarks and specs came from a pre-production sample. So they might not be final after all. Then how are we gonna take in all this news wall? Well, with some grain of salt. As for the benchmarks, the Ryzen 9 3900 XT is shown to have a score of 542 in Cinebench R20 single core, beating the i9 10900K score of 539. Is AMD finally matching Intel on single core speeds? I cannot wait to see the gaming benchmarks comparing these two CPUs. It is unclear why AMD is refreshing some of their Zen 2 chips when Zen 3 is right around the corner. But if the benchmarks are true, is AMD simply marinating Intel before roasting them with their Zen 3 release? What do you guys think? Are you guys interested in this refresh at all or will you just wait for Zen 3 to arrive? Last week, the Realme X3 Super Zoom was officially unveiled. This is probably another flagship level phone offered by Realme priced at 1999 ringgit only. Did I get that right? Which is probably lower than Realme's X50 Pro. The specs look great for its price with a 6.6 inch 120Hz FHD Plus display panel that has a 90.5% screen to body ratio. The phone also comes with 12 gig of LPDDR4 times RAM and 256 gig of UFS 3.0 storage. For the processor though, they went with last year's Snapdragon 855 Plus instead of the Snapdragon 865. There is a quad camera setup on the rear which includes a 64 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel periscope lens, 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, and 2 megapixel macro lens. The periscope camera has a 5 times optical zoom and up to 60 times digital zoom. No wonder they named this phone Super Zoom. There are also two cameras on the front for all your selfie needs. So what do you think? Is this phone pretty good for its price point or do you think the Poco F2 Pro is much better? Let us know in the comments below. Sony launched a new wireless noise cancelling Bluetooth headset on April 1st and one of it finally arrived in Malaysia. So if you have been wanting to get a headset for yourself for your home workouts, let keep on watching. I promise it won't break your bank. These WHCH710N headphones come in blue, black, and white colors and include an AI noise cancelling technology that can analyze and reduce noise in real time. To keep you in suspense, I won't tell you the price yet, but just know that with the price you are gonna pay for this headset, you will get a pretty decent battery life of up to 35 minutes of up to 35 hours of listening, 60 minutes of up to 35 minutes, oh my god, I'm so f 35 hours of listening and 60 minutes of payback with just 10 minutes of charging. 10 minutes! Based on a lot of research done by yours truly, as long as you don't compare them to Bose noise cancelling headphones 700 or Sony's WH-1000XM3, which by the way cost a lot more. These WH-CH710N headphones are pretty awesome for users in the market for budget-friendly ANC, active noise control headphones like me. Based on PC Max review, the audio performance on these headsets features deep bass, crisp high, and also sometimes can feel a bit too sculpted la. These headphones are in store in KLCC or The Curve, or better yet, just stay at home and buy on Lazada for 699 ringgit. It is definitely a hashtag cheap buy, but I wouldn't mind if Sony sponsors me too. So like, hello Sony. 
Several major titles will be coming out on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Warning, some games might make you consider buying a new console. So if you buy at the end of the month, you have not enough money, you don't blame me. Yeah? For me, I won't buy that because all I care about is Animal Crossing. So anyway, number one, we have Warframe. Yes, the online sci-fi shooter Warframe will be coming to you on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Leo Technology, parent company of the game, stated that they are preparing to expand Warframe to more platforms. However, there's no indication yet on when the game will land on the next generation generation consoles. Number 2, Dirt 5. Dirt 5 is a racing game that is tied to the world of Rally Cross. As you can see, the visual is sick. This can be a pretty fun game for some family bonding time. Number 3, Fortnite. Choo 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 choo. No surprises here, the game will be enhanced to take full advantage of the increased horsepower available on next generation consoles. So get ready for some amazing performance and visual upgrades. Of course, it's 2020 already, so cross-platform multiplayer is also available and you can move all the items you have purchased and unlock in the game to your console. Other games also include Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Battlefield 6, Watch Dogs Legion and Cyberpunk 2077. Which games are you planning to get your hands on? Let me know in the comments below Animal Crossing in London, some hospitals have given out 10 mixed reality headsets to doctors to reduce their exposure to COVID-19 patients. These headsets are called HoloLens and are built by Microsoft. HoloLens allow doctors to share their POV with colleagues remotely while also showing holographic projections to the doctor wearing the headset. This means instead of a room full of doctors doing a ward round, only one doctor will be physically required while the others will stay in a COVID-19 isolated room. This is a big lifesaver for all frontliners worldwide.